Do you know what? Okay. Oh, yeah. Hello and welcome. Um, not so big D's running out of ideas for YouTube already. No, I'm joking. I have wanted to do a get ready with me just purely because I get a lot of people saying, oh, we miss your morning lives. And I feel like I should do something to like refer them over to when I'm not live. Um, so this is just like a get ready with me as I would do on the tickety top. Um, my nose is running already. I need to blow it. So we're already off to a good start. I can't stop blowing off um which is not ideal when you've got leather well they're vegan leather trousers before anyone comes at me um but yeah better get into it or blow my nose right so i'm going to start off with at the moment i've been using the milk pore eclipsing primer um it's been working wonders apart from it does sometimes decide to squeeze out there you go i put far too much on again i always do this with this primer and there's not a lot left i bought a smaller one just to try it so i thought i don't want to like buy a large one and then not like it but always the way um i'm going to put too much primer on my face but it's fine it just means the makeup might stay on there's a hair good there's a hair there's a hair i'm hoping the makeup might stay on longer Blend it down the neck then, blend it. Um, this is basically a how not to do your makeup guide. I'm just showing you how I do mine. I'm not, this is like a disclaimer, I'm not a makeup artist, okay? So, no. it does definitely even out those pores. Anyway, how is your day? Why am I asking you? You can't really re reply, can you? Um, I've woken up quite cold this morning but I got up and felt really productive and then every now and then I just sat on my phone on TikTok like this is not getting anything done is it let's be honest so primer is on always make sure your hands are clean before you apply makeup otherwise you're a dirty you're a dirty bitch is what I wanted to say um next on the agenda let's maybe now our, if you can see that's how I like my primer to be, slightly sticky so the product just like stays on your face all day long. Um, let's put, I have got a few spotty wotties, so I'm going to use the Glow Hub Undercover, it's a high coverage zip zap concealer wand, um, it's got tea tree and salic, 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 salic acid right as here we go i used it under my eyes once and it was really full coverage so i'm going to just let that sit there to be honest um and then we're going to do our brows i think today i'm just going to do my normal everyday brow um and that consists of the pink honey wonder whip honey pot no it's not honey pot um and i don't know if anyone has obviously used the honey glue which is amazing but yeah today i'm just going to stick to the wonder whip and the wonder whip pen there's the little wonder whip pen i use it in uh, brownie points is thy color i'm just going to try and find a spoolie here we go it's not really got anything on it to be honest but i just like to brush brush through do you know what I mean do you know what I mean um i have actually got a campaign i'm going to try and film it today i thought if i do like a an everyday makeup <coughs> that's annoying that <coughs> that's really pissing me off actually that cough what is that about then can you tell me please right uh i'm just trying to write root from my brush hold on far too long to find that brush not gonna lie um i'd say roughly roughly a minute and a half which is quite a long time to look for a brush isn't it um so yeah i've got like an angled brush as you can see it probably needs a clean this is actually take a brow from the Beauty Bay. How are they looking? They're looking all right at the moment. This is, oh, we've overshaped that a little bit, but nothing a bit of concealer can fix there. Okay, right. And I'm going to get the pink camo concealer from Pink Honey. I love this stuff. Just to carve the brows out. 
We love a bit of the brow carve. Where did all, all my brushes go? I had them all in here. Here it is. Here it is. Alright, panic over. Um, I'm going to use, so I've got the Dole, oh, Dose of Lashes Dole 17. But Dose of Lashes 17 brush. And then I'm just going to, just going to carve them out. Just to neaten them up. I've carved them out too thin. There we go. They're not going good, the eyebrows today. I'm not going to lie. I've all lied to you. Hair everywhere. Okay, let's try again. There we go. Okay, we're going to sort this one out because it's going absolutely shockingly bad. So, you're not getting away with that, brow. Brows if. This, this brush needs a clean. There we go. That looks a bit better. They do look a bit odd still. That one's thicker than it. But do you know what? Your eyebrows are supposed to be fucking long distant cousins, according to me. This ISO clean stuff is bloody amazing by the way so good oh, let's put... i love it it just honestly clean it actually has cleaned the makeup stains out of my carpet there's so many stains on here and i've got the spray one i've just been spray splaying splaying scrittles spraying shit loads is that is good honestly this look how clean that is now it's white Try again. I just made a little bit of an ASMR sound there. Um, BFF brow gel, just in the little bits there, and just make, just make them. Cause I, I'm still here for the ombre eyebrow. Okay, I've done a few fluffy eyebrow looks quite recently, um, and I feel like it makes my makeup look a little bit heavy sometimes. Even though you'd think this would make it heavy. So yeah, I'm just using a bit of the BFF. It's the beauty crop one. It works like an absolute dream. Just put that in the front, just to. Then I will fill in. I've got loads of ball patches on my eyebrows, so I'm gonna fill those in. And like my eyebrows are like my hair, like thinning at the front and then voluptuous at the back. I'm not, but my hair is. I actually need to go to shops today because i have got i've run out of really annoying things there you go it just makes it look a little bit fluffy at the front and then i do look a bit ridiculous with that on my chin don't i p louise rumor base on my eyelids let's go i'm gonna mix these two together so this is the rumor base in zero one we've got p louise base rumor 2.5 I'm C. So I'm probably gonna do a bit of do a bit of both. Oh, there we go. There we go. Honestly, you'll be like, oh my god, it's a different woman. And then we're I'm gonna use the Made by Mitchell. Mix it together. What brush is this? I've got five. And then I'm going to use the remaining on my nose. And then I'm going to... So I always put P. Louise um, on my nose. Because again, it really helps with the foundation. Like, To be fair, I put foundation on with none of this on. And this primer does work. But for that extra support, especially as I'm going to wear this all day. I'm going to put it on my nose. There we go. Fine, and now the brows are a bit more dry. Oh, itch. I'm just gonna uh -huh. fill these bald bits. Still looks quite bald. Still quite bald! Um, okay, eyeshadow next. I do actually get a lot of people asking me how I do my eyeshadow. Um, I, I won't lie, I do just wing it every time. Um, so. 
I'm just going to use my normal brushes for now, which is the Beauty Bay ones. This is full colour, this one. So I'm just putting shade Aurora, as you can tell, this one. And I'm just using it as like a bait. Just threw it on my nose as well while I was there. Why not? It's really weird doing this quietly, but I'm very mindful that I know that the YouTube is a little bit funny about... Okay, so don't worry if it's not neat or anything because you can neaten it up but basically it just offers a little bit more of a coverage underneath and then we're gonna, I think I'm gonna go with Celeste, I love this colour, so Celeste is this one here, are you gonna, okay well that's the colour I'm using and I'm just gonna go in the crease, again don't worry if it's messy well, I'm saying that, as I said, I am not a makeup artist, so I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm going to use a brown liquid liner by Made by Mitchell, and I'm just going to draw a little wing, because I'm going to use it as like a, basically as like a, what do you call it? I don't know. fat and one skinny oh god it's going it's going from bad to worse but basically i'm gonna put eyeshadow on it and it's gonna cover it up that's the moral of the story yeah um so i'm gonna go in with aphrodite it's a very dark dark brown um but again it's gonna look messy as fuck but we're gonna and i'm gonna get it all on my face look how messy that looks Trust the process. Nice, that, that looks really good. Imagine if I was like, dumb. And then I'm going to Divinity. Go. It just looks like I've got little love handles, isn't it? Uh, get a baby wipe. So much better. Do you know my hair in a bun in the reflection I thought was um, just a floating object. I'm not gonna lie, that freaked me the fuck out. So good. Do you know loads, loads better? And then we'll go light insert middle. And Empress, I think. Empress is a nice light colour, isn't it? I don't even want to talk about the technique I'm using because there is no technique. And people like, just press it in. No, Dem's not pressing today. She's making an absolute fucking mess on her face. <laughs> right. Let's just put a little bit of this line in fill primer on. And then I'm just going to put this here. Basically, get rid of the wrinkles, hopefully. I'm just lo losing, using the Revolution Line Fix. That is it there. The eye, look how nice the eyes look now. <laughs> I said no one ever. Do I want to go live this week? Do I want to do a TikTok shop this week? Shall we? 
Shall I? I reckon I should. Why not? Why the hell not? Um, okay, and then what we're going to do is basically go in with the foundation today. Um, and I'm going to use the Dream Cover. Dream Cover? Dream Urban Cover. It's the Maybelline one. It is full coverage, but it goes, it's like really liquidy. It's just, oh. A little bit on my head. Don't need a little. Okay. A little goes a long way says that it looks like I've put shit loads on my face. And then I got a new brush from Primark and it's very, very good. Charlotte Chewy Shitting Spray. It's a lot to say, isn't it? Um, and we're just going to take the fluff off the brush first. Spray the brush and then blend. Nescafe Gold Blend. I've obviously blended a hair onto my face. Oh, I do like, I really do like this foundation. It's really lightweight. Definitely the wrong colour. How nice is that foundation? The coverage, that spot's completely gone as well. Um, but yeah, I use shade 126 this morning. Not usually a concealer kind of girl um, under the eyes, but we're just going to brighten it a little. Because I haven't really put products there. I do love, like, this concealer is one of my favourites. And we'll let that dry for a little bit. Um, next on the agenda, let's do a little bit of bronzer. Um, I'm going to use tan in bronzer. I'm going to use just a Real Techniques brush, the number 200 to, do, to use as, whilst that's sort of drying out a little bit. Um, spray the brush again. Love, I always spray my brushes before I use them. Trust me. Game changer and then... Tap it on. Okay, that's good enough to not eat. And then we're gonna, can you see it builds up really lovely. So yeah, as I say, this is shade tan. Beautiful. Well, if you know I me, mean, I'm not saying I'm beautiful, but and then a little bit on the jawline. Structure the nose a little bit. Spray thy brush and then blend it up. And I do like this concealer. <laughs> do you want to learn how to speak, please? I do love this concealer. It is lovely to blend as well. So with a good brush and my fingers still smell of onion. Just drag it down. Drag the product down a little bit just to brighten the area. Do you like how I sound like I know what I'm talking about? Because I don't. God, that is good. That's an all-round good brush. I like that one. Okay, and then we're going to add some. Um, but I'm going to use Berry Bless. I've been using the pink, pink honey blush bible lately. And one, yeah, spray obviously. Add a little bit. You only need a little bit. So basically, it's got two bits. It's got a cream blush and a powder blush. Why can I not talk today? 
and then we're gonna dip a dab. Does anyone watch that really funny lady? She's an anaesthetist, and like she basically does anaesthesia on people before they have an operation. And she has this one palette, makeup palette, and she'll it basically she uses like the same brush for everything. She's like dip a dab. And then she always draws underneath her lip and she's like, nah, it's a bit juicy lip. But yeah, fair play to her. I don't think I could do her job at all. You've got to have a sense of humour for that sort of thing, haven't you? <laughs> nice little little pinch is all we want today. A little, little pinch of something something and then... Yeah! Do you want to come to the home bar? No, I'm going to go B&M bargains, I think, today. I'll take you with me. And then, and then, and then, I'm going to get my little sponge that I showed you earlier, because now I've blended the concealer in with a brush. I am going to, as I say, I've sprayed, sprayed the sponge with some setting spray. Oh, and I've also sprayed my mirror, which I do all the fucking time. Why? Helps with the crease in if there is any. I don't think there's much crease in at all, is there? Um, I'm going to put a bit of the candy drip in the Made by Mitchell blush lights. Is that highlight blush lights? And use that as my highlighter. Oh god, that's nice. I'm going to use my finger for this. I always make a weird noise with my mouth when I. Can you see that? Whoa! Because I can. Look at that. How pretty is that? It's good. I was watching Bruce Almighty the other night. I love it. Bloody love it, I do. I'm, I'm almost finished. I am gonna tidy the eyes up though. I'm not just, I think I might do like a liner just to make it look not as like, that's it, if that makes sense. Although I always, I do prefer my eyes without liner, but I think today we're gonna liner it up. This is a Coco Cosmetics sponge. It's not fully damp, but it still is damp from the last time I used it. I sometimes prefer sponges when they're like the next day damp. If I've used it, if I've wet it, yeah, if I've wet it that day. Sometimes I find it's too damp and it doesn't blend the product properly. So the day after, where it's dried out a little bit, I find is best. And then I spray it with setting spray, and then I'm just gonna press all my products in again. And it just blends everything a lot more seamlessly without removing too much, if anything. There we go. It just looks so much better. Just looks so much more blended. And are you going to use my little dose of lashes, Power Puff? I really like these ones. They're a lot furrier. Then the Trigwell and the um, Oh Pretty, but I do I love them all equally. But this one was to hand, and I'm just gonna press down on the areas I don't want because I do oil from the nuzz. So I always put some on the brush, and then brush. It's not even a brush. Puff. Scrape the excess off. And if you feel like you have got too much on, it's fine. Just keep pressing it in. I'm just gonna, I like the shape of these ones. They love hearts. Look how smooth that is. Mm. Almost there. We're almost there, guys. Don't worry. Hold fire. And then I'm just going to dab a little bit. And then on, under my eyes, I'm not going to press too hard. I'm just going to do that. You don't need to press hard at all. Just smooth them out. There's a, there's a few wrinkles. Aging is beautiful, right? Lines and all. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Sorry if you don't like lines. I like lines. That sounds wrong. But... And then I'm using the bigger power puff 
powder puff power puff it's because it's in like very similar like power puff packaging dabbing dab 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 a root i'm not gonna do my cheeks i tend to leave my cheeks just dab me forward oh god my lips are so freaking dry my mustache looks nice though powder is done you don't need too much powder and then we're gonna get i'm gonna put a little bit of hula bronzer and just go over This, I love this brush by the way, this is the blush brush from Real Techniques. But I use it as a bronze, I do what I want with it, alright? Don't tell me what to do. Put that hula back. We've done, we've had enough of hula. Um, I am going to put a bit of Dr. Paul on my lips because I don't like this change of weather. I need to do a lip scrub for sure. I haven't really talked about anything, have I? Let's be honest. If you've lasted this long, I commend you. I really do. I'm sorry, this is probably the most boring video you've ever seen, but I'm going to upload it anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to go in with the Coco Rose palette, add a bit more blush. Oh, oh I don't fall that one. Um, I'm going to use this one because it's a bit orangey. And we're just going to put that on the top there. Did it do anything? We don't know. We don't know. I would tell you what brush this is, but I don't know either. Don't know a lot, do I? Okay. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to use a little bit of the pink one here. Oh, by the way, this this pink is lush. I might just add some more. Just added more pink. Oh, that's yeah, it's out. Um, the battery keeps saying it's going to run out. I don't know why. Um, but yeah. Oh, I've just sharpened the liner. I think it just finishes the look off a little bit more. Just going a little bit on the waterline. I will neaten this up, but made them look, look a lot better hold on hold on right i'm gonna have to do this really quickly because again it keeps cutting me off but as you can see i've just basically blended out um a little bit of liner and then put a pop a bit of mascara on um i'm using the maybelline colossal bounce mascara it might cut off again Honestly, it's a sign that I take too long doing my makeup, which I know I already do. I've, I've smudged it there, so that's always good, isn't it? Here we go. I do love this mascara, though. There we go. There we go. I keep saying there we go. Right. That is pretty much the makeup done. I'm just going to put a bit of lip liner on. Actually, I might just use the same as what I put in my eyes, but I'm going to clean it going to use the shade Rich Rich from Made by Mitchell. Right, okay, I'll finish filming on my phone then, shall I? Um, but yeah, Rich Rich by Made by Mitchell in the liner. Such a nice liner, by the way. It's the all smudge, no budge one, so that ain't budging. That ain't budging today. And then I think I'm going to go in with... Honey Love, I, lo I do, I love, love this colour. I'm just going to check, I didn't put another one in there. Oh no, I'm not. I'm going to go Bonafide. I'm going to go Bonafide. There's not much left of the MUA. This is my, this is my favourite ever lipstick. There you go. Oh, let's see if we can there. my hair does ignore the hair they're the finished eyes which doesn't look that. that's a good eye we'll stick with that one yeah that's a shit eye oh my god don't look too closely kids because 
yeah that is the makeup look today it's very heavy and i am going to just pop to b&m like this but i hope you've enjoyed um thank you for watching it again again if you have got this far thank you um but yeah this is just if you miss my lives in the morning whack this on in the background and let's have some fun with it do you know what i mean do you know what i mean yeah right okay. i'm outside b&m now i look a little bit dressed up for b&m and i'm fucking so why is it october and 20 degrees actually um this is my list i'm gonna read it out to you and we're gonna see how well we've done green tea scented washing balls whitening powder like washing powder deodorant i haven't got any on today i i probably smell um and rice i'm just gonna get like microwavable microwavable voice so i'm gonna take you with me and see how well i can do the lady in front of me has got enough perfume on for me as well um i'd say she's about 100 yards and she's stopped now washing balls I can see her I need some whitening powder as well Ugh. right what should I get vanish I'm just gonna get this because it's cheaper $2.99 that's quite good isn't it scented balls where are you I'm gonna get my bin liners in the middle I think oh my god it's time to find scented balls where are you I found you well, I think I'm gonna go Gold orchid, $7.99. In the basket. Wasn't able to get green tea. Um, and I'm going to get deodorant. And I've got rice. So, so far so good. I'm going to get some carpet stain remover. Because I've got so many stains on mine. I do need some toothpaste. I'm re remembering things that I forgot to put on the list. Okay. So, so I ended up going to Bean and Bargains and... Aldi. Oh, I said Lidl. It's an absolute shit tip behind me. Do you know what? Oh yeah. Anyway, let's crack on with what I got. First up, very important, I bought a £10 new toilet seat. It's supposed to be a soft clothes one. Our toilet seat is one of those, you know when you sit down and as soon as you sit down you slip and like your heart falls out your ass. Um, won't go in there because you're off the toilet. Um, and then when you do that, the toilet seat then falls on your back and then you're like, ha. <laughs> This is not a great time, so I've just bought a cheapy one. Jess can fit that. He kept going on about. He kept going on about a new toilet seat, so now I've got it, he's got no excuse. Anyway, next up. Let's do. Okay, let's do being in first. Because I did really well. Apart from the, the toilet seat, which wasn't essential, but we kind of kept going on about it, if that makes sense. So. Four packs of rice, I've got pilau rice, egg fried, another pilau and another egg fried, so two of each. I love that they're only like, I don't know, 69p. Um, again, that was on the list, the Oxy Active non bio stain remover powder. This wasn't on the list, but I feel like I need to give this a go on my upstairs carpet because there's shit loads of makeup everywhere and it's not good. Um, we actually ran out of mayo and I remembered it. It wasn't, again, wasn't on the list, but I remembered it. Well done, Dan. And it's a squeezy ball, so Jess will be happy. I had the jar last time, you know, and you like dip in and you get it all on your finger and then the knife or the spoon. Oh, it's a disaster. We did get some scented boosters. Oh, I call them scented balls, but they're actually not balls. Oh, well. Fuck the haters. Oral B for minty fresh um got some peppermint extra strong peppermints because who is it i can't remember where i was when i was eating them and i was thinking why have i not got these they're mainly to leave in my car because i don't know why i feel like my breath smells when i'm in my car um actually i might put some on now because i've actually run out of that much um probably already smell but yeah i couldn't put any on this morning because i don't have any and then I've got the bougie one. I normally get the Dove, um, but the short one is actually all right. So this is like three pounds, and normally it's like five ninety nine or something. So I'm not mad at that. That is B and M bargains done. Again, we've not done too bad. Next up was um, Aldi. So for dinner, Jess and I have got. Sorry for the veggies and the vegans. We have got some 
rump steak. This is the specially selected one. It was 30% off. I don't actually know how much it is. Um, but I think it's because it's the 18th day they need eating. Got some pizza. I've got my friends coming over Thursday. So I know that her son likes it, just like a plain margarita. And then I got some frozen ones. Why is it cheaper to get a frozen pizza? I don't always think it tastes like any nicer or less nicer. Um, I've got, I'm cheating. I'm going to just put an oven baked dough and wild potatoes with the steaks. And then I've got some mushrooms. Um, and we need some more peas. Where are the, mush the mushrooms are in the other bag? Petit pois. I only have these ones. I don't really like the other peas. Which is weird. So weird, isn't it? I don't know how I'm going to fit. I'm not going to fit these in it. Oh shit, I don't know if I'm going to fit these. I've got a extra thin crispy special. It's got gouda cheese, salami, mushroom, ham, pepperoni. And I thought that sounded quite nice. I need to sort out my fridge in my freezer. It's not good. Okay, the remaining parts of Aldi. I did get green tea, but I got three boxes. Two of them are with mint. I actually prefer the green tea with mint than the normal green tea. Here the mushrooms have with our naan bread. I'm going to have that for lunch, even though it's like almost three o'clock. That's the normal green tea. They're so bloody cheap in Aldi. How much is the green tea? Those green teas, it was £1.77. For all of those. Whereas when I went into being a bargain and saw the Tetley version, it was like £1.11 or something. So you get more in there as well. And then I've got some more squash because Jess has run out. So I've got a peach, fruit and barley. I like that it's rimmed at the top. That's obviously been in the stock room for a while. And then an apple squash because, again, he likes... I thought we'd change it up a bit. We normally go for like apple and blackcurrant. But anyway, that was it. I hope I did sort of semi-film me in B&M. But you know when you feel like you're being watched? And I was like, this is scary. When I was in... Um, Costco of Clo on Sunday. We I filmed me and her like te doing a tester of the chocolate milk. It was the oat chocolate milk, which is really nice. That's what I had fake tan on. And he's like, "Are you filming?" And she was like, "Yeah, we're not." I was like, "We're not filming you." And he's like, "No, is he filming yourself?" And I was like, "Yeah." Thinking, I don't know what's weird of me filming myself or you asking the question. Like, if you see someone. I feel like I wouldn't, maybe there's a policy not to film inside, I don't know, but anyway, thank you for, thank you for today. If you, again, if you've come this far, championne. Never said that word in my life. What the hell did just happened? Please like and subscribe and I might make some better fucking videos. <laughs> thank you so much for watching, liking and subscribing. Love ya.